someone needs to put a dunce cap on and take a time out in the corner. Someone, and that someone ain't you or me or 99.999% of the general public. Only that 0.001% dimwit someone would manufacture evidence and then promenade it around in front of the rest of us. We, the general public majority, only a genuine nincompoop would embark upon such folly. I do feel sorry for the kid. History has warned these mutton heads time and time again that if you put manufactured evidence before the general public majority they will expose it. So why embark upon such doomed from the get-go shenanigans? Though, of course, if your evidence is genuine, meaning not manufactured, then by all means parade it around in front of us, we the general public. This is because seeing that evidence is genuine aids accepting someone's claim, but seeing that evidence is not genuine aids denying someone's claim. We want to clarify this point because we Christians accept the claim that God exists and make the claim that God exists. We base the claim in part on the physical evidence of general revelation, that it is genuine. This video is the second lesson that seeks to answer a where question. Where can anybody, any member of the general public, where can anybody go to escape seeing the logic trigger compelling and genuine evidence of general revelation? Evidence that is used to support the Christian's claim that God exists. Where? Last lesson, part one of our answer, we define something. We said that general revelation is creation and we define creation as the universe and everything in it. This lesson, part two of our answer, we are going to clarify something based upon this definition. Then finally, next lesson, we'll put it all together and fortify something meaning will encourage and strengthen something. So, general revelation is creation. Creation is the universe and everything in it. Everything, to be clear, results in everywhere. Creation is everything, and everything is everywhere. So creation is everything everywhere. The evidence is inescapable. Where can you go to escape being confronted by it? Where? Seems clear, but not clear enough, not yet. Everything, everywhere also results in to everyone. Everyone is you and me and everyone else. Everyone is we, the general public. In fact, from this point forward, to remain clear, when I'm talking about general revelation, I'm going to say general public revelation. And general public revelation is the point we want to clarify. Everything, everywhere, but most importantly to everyone. Clear? Pretty clear, but not all the way clear. Not yet. Creation is everything, everywhere, to everyone directly. Directly and not through some intermediary, expert or not. Finally, all the way clear. Let's take a moment to dwell on our all the way clarified point of to everyone directly. Let's meditatively dwell by using the meditation presented in a biblical psalm. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. Of who? God. Yes, he exists. And the sky proclaims the work, the created work, of his, whose? God's. Of his hands. Day after day they, 
the heavens and the sky pour out speech about God. Night after night they communicate knowledge about God. There is no speech. Okay, no actual human speech. Don't be too literal. This is a metaphor, some poetry we're meditating on. Poetry that uses synonyms for revelation. Declare, pour out speech, communicate knowledge are all poetical, metaphorical synonyms for revealing, for revelation. There are no words. Their voice is not heard, yet their message has gone out to all the earth. To all the earth. There's your general public revelation. And their words to the ends of the earth. In the heavens he, God, has pitched a tent for the night. The sun goes somewhere at night, right? He has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of the bridal chamber. So the sun was honeymooning all night in that God-pitched tent. No wonder he's such a happy camper first thing in the morning. It rejoices like an athlete. Yeah, a stud athlete. So much for that athletic wives' tale that keeps athletes from their spouses the night before. It rejoices like an athlete running a course. It rises from one end of the heavens, the starting blocks of the running course, and circles to the other end, the victorious finish line of the running course. Nothing, and I mean nothing, not one thing, nothing at all, is hidden from its heat. Nothing at all is hidden from its heat. That's our take a moment meditation of Psalm 19, dwelling for just a moment on our all the way clarified point of to everyone directly. Now, with your meditator muscle, multiply that to everyone directly by each member of the general public. And you've got to agree only a genuine halfwit would make a pageantry to the general public of manufactured evidence in order to support some empty claim. But, on the other hand, everyone seeing that evidence is genuine, like that of creation, aids accepting and maybe even making the claim, like that of God exists. So, general public revelation is creation. Creation is the universe and everything in it. Everything is everywhere and most importantly to everyone directly. To be clear, to everyone directly means that every single person in general public gets to see creation, gets to see for themselves the physical evidence of general public revelation and to see collectively and for themselves that the universe and everything in it is genuine. You just cannot manufacture this stuff. Having defined something and clarified something, let's put both together and fortify something. That's really been our ultimate goal all along. We're going to encourage and strengthen something. That's what we'll do next lesson.